What up, y'all, and welcome to RHI Solutions' first ever reaction video. If you don't know me, my name is Morgan Tresser, and I'm a native from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I went to college in Kentucky, so pardon my y'alls. I'm pretty stoked. Today, we will be doing the Vulcan VACB series and the CCB series Tri-Broiler Operational Demo Video. Whew, try saying that three times fast. By the way, if you guys like the um, hats and shirts, these are special RHI solution um, gear, so get yours today. All right, Vulcan, done to perfection. We don't accept anything less than perfect, so that's a pretty good start for me. In this video, we are going to demonstrate operation steak. of the Vulcan VACB. It's a dinner time here right CCB now, so I'm already hungry. My mouth is watering. And by the way, for the those VACB of you who have always dreamed of being the grill master, you know, the classic white New Balances, the dad jean shorts, the hat, the Remain beer in your hand. Lighting. Use an outside this will ignition source to light the pilot this will step the you pilot up a access level. hole in the front panel. The end of the ignition source must be at you least guys can get these lighters literally the any pilot. any store you to go to, burners, convenience stores, turn the individual burners anything. on to the max set. So that's super convenient for everybody. Preheat the char boiler for 30 minutes before cooking. Okay, pausing that right there. It only takes 30 minutes to preheat. So if you're all at the barbecue, if you have a lot of hungry people waiting for some food in the kitchen, wherever, 30 minutes, plenty of time, lather up all your meats and veggies, throw them on the charbroiler, it's nothing. People are going to be ready to start feasting and it's perfect time. The VACB Hit and, and play. VCCB cooking grates are constructed from heavy duty cast iron. We recommend seasoning the cooking surface with a light coat of oil before the first use and after every cleaning. Okay, just oil beforehand. While you don't cooking, have to, it is important melt to melt any butter or loading your charboiler. Prepping the grates any more than that. So that's ensure your cooking area is easy. properly ventilated. Oh my god, y'all, those steaks look so good. <sighs> Throughout service, clean the charboiler cooking grates regularly by scraping top grates with a wire brush. All right, all we need is a wire brush. To accumulate on the grates. That's so easy. To Don't shut off the charboiler at the end of service, turn all burners to the off position. Makes allow sense. the charboiler to cool down completely. As you should and allow the charboiler to, to, to cool back, down. Grease or food. All right, pausing at 145 on the dot. Y'all we don't need anybody, all right? Going to clean their charbroiler, taking care of it, and having their hand end up looking like a nice fresh grilled steak with lines all over it, okay? Let the charbroiler cool down, have patience. I know it's tough because I have zero patience, but they could make these steps any easier. It's like one, two, three. A two-year-old could clean these charbroilers. Deflector trays I don't recommend having a, char a two-year-old close to a charbroiler. Char Maybe cool. wait to train them to be a grill master at seven, but, or eight. Clean stainless steel you surfaces get the point. using a damp cloth with mild it's a super detergent easy process. I need water is mild detergent. For more information, refer Guys, to the VACB. You don't have to buy any CCB sort of cleaning or anything. On the Vulcan website. This is so easy. VulcanEquipment.com. All right, y'all, and that's the end of the video. If you're interested, go online, uh, reach out to your local RHI rep to help get you started on all these new products. I honestly don't know why you're still sitting here listening to me talk. Y'all should already be on the phone, on your computer, your smartphone. Guys, come on. Grill Master 3000. You still got enough time in the summer left to go. Get on it. Have a good day. We'll see you next time, y'all.